Hey friends, Melinda Caldwell here. Thanks for checking out this video today. And so I wanted to address something that was heavy on my heart yesterday. I was sitting at work, I was getting my marketing on, and one of my coworkers came over and said, uh, man, have you, did you hear about Israel Halton and Adrian Balon, the girl from Cheetah Curls? And I said, no, what, what's going on? And she said, well, they're dating. And of course, you, you got to put in that whole, well, I'm not trying to gossip <laughs> type of deal. But she made, she, she made a point to me that I, that I really wanted to put in a video. She said, you know what? people are really upset about this and they're saying some really bad things but I just think about the things that I have done in my life and how God brought me through those things so I just wanted to I just wanted to talk about not the gossip of what's going on with Israel and, and Adrian the fact that they're dating um, but what I do want to talk about is how we handle these situations because what happens is when something like this happens and you have someone who ministers to millions of people around the world or maybe they're just or they could be someone locally that is highly respected and something goes on and in the eyes of other people this is not right and trust me I'm not saying that their relationship is good or bad I'm not saying anything what my uh, criticism right now is is of how we as the body of Christ come and we handle situations like this so of course I wanted to see well what is going on so I, I saw Israel Houghton's Facebook page and he was talking about how you know the issues he was having in his marriage and you know just defending himself and I just felt so grieved that he felt like he even had to you know get on social media and do all of that um, but what really broke my heart is just all of the condemnation all the comments and you know, there were a lot of people who were being encouraging and saying, look, I'm going to pray for you. Um, but there were so many people who were just going in, going in. And I'm just like, wow, this is, a, this is a major problem because guess what? Well, this is how I look at it. In Christianity, sometimes we can box ourselves up so much that we forget that people are actually looking inside of our box. They're actually looking at how we react to things. They're looking at how we're going to respond when there are certain issues in the body of Christ that come up. When there are things that have happened that people don't agree with. The world is looking in on us and they're looking at how are we going to respond. And so what happens is you have to realize that it's, j it's not just us as the body of Christ who are reading those comments and, and all that stuff. But it's the world. They're, they're reading it too. And people who have fallen away from the body of Christ. They're reading it. And and you know what they're saying? They're saying, see, that's why I left because they are so judgmental. They, you know, they don't have any love for people. All they want to do is talk about people. And and, and that's what, what just drives me crazy is that our first uh, reaction to anything is quickly to put it out there and condemn somebody. Like, your stuff don't stink. Like, you have never done anything in your life. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying that what's going on is right. But I'm saying we have to approach it strategically and see that Satan will use something like this and take our focus off of Christ. And instead, what if we all got on Israel Houghton's Facebook page and said, you know what, brother, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where you are right now, but I'm just going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for uh, your children. I'm going to pray for your family. You're going through some things, and we're going to stand by you in prayer. What if you had a thousand people praying for that one situation instead of coming down and condemning him? I put this scripture up because it speaks to what what we need to do as Christians is James 4 11 and 12 do not speak evil against one another brothers and sisters the one who speaks against a brother or judges his brother speaks evil against the law and judges the law but if you judge the law you are not a doer of the law but a judge there is only one lawgiver and judge he who is able to save and destroy but who are you 
to judge your neighbor. We don't, and thank God, we don't have to have those burdens of judging people. Our job is to intercede with prayer. Our job is to come in, and when we see something that's not right, when we see something that's not going on, our first defense is not to run to somebody and girl did you see this and guess what and i girl we gotta stop all that we have to intercede in prayer the devil is a liar he will come to steal kill and destroy and he will take situations like this and he will cause dissension and he when we what we need to do is we need to sit back Pray and pull back the curtain and see who the real person is who was starting all this mess. And that's that's Satan. Okay? So what we need to do is intercede. When you see people who are going through, through I can't even imagine what Israel's going through. Because he's someone that's in the spotlight. What are you doing behind closed doors? And if what if there was a spotlight on you? Okay, what has God brought you through? I was listening to Kevin, Kevin, Kevin on stage. And he was talking about... The whole thing with Leandria uh, Johnson and people were talking about her and condemning her and all this stuff. And he was saying, man, I'm not putting my mouth on anybody because of the grace and mercy that God gives us. I am nobody to judge anybody. My, my job as a Christian is to love. My job as a Christian is to pray for people. When I see people are hurting at work or they're hurting online or my family, people are going through issues, it is our job to pray and to walk upright. You know, so when you do have people coming at you and coworkers and they're trying to gossip and stuff, you have to stand up and be the light and say, I'm not going to participate in this. And you pray about it. That's what's going to change the world that's what's going to Jesus is the only way he is the way the truth and the light he's the only way that things are going to change in this world he is the only way and so we have power inside of us the indwelling Holy Spirit that allows us to connect with God and change things and so we have to stop gossiping and putting our mouths on people but let's Immediately, when you see something going on in the media and it's about one of our brothers and sisters in Christ, you start going in prayer. Immediately start interceding for them. And if you are going to go on social media and if you're going to say something about that person, let it be of encouragement and lifting them up. And don't think that you're going to go to his Facebook wall and do all this condemnation and he's just going to be reading all this stuff. You're wasting your time. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, let's lift up our people. Let's start being, uh, let's start being that light. And then what happens is then the world comes in. Instead of seeing all the Christians are condemning Israel Houghton, let's have the world come in and see thousands of people who are praying for him and interceding and and praying for his ministry and his music and praying for whatever is going on in the situation that God will prevail that God will intercede he is the judge the Bible says right there who is able to save and destroy so let God do the work let him do the judging you don't want that you don't want that burden you don't want it okay so God bless you guys. I just wanted to address that. I know I may, may get some flack for some things that I said, but I don't care. I'm free. So thanks for watching this. This is Melinda Caldwell with Church Girl Tees, and I'm out.